Tonight, a personal plea from a mother to a man she called her son. Turn yourself in. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office is looking for 28 year old Jalen McCollins, who is wanted for homicide. He's accused of killing two people in Southeast Shelby County, one of them a woman he dated for years. WREG's Ashley Paul joins us live tonight as the search for McCollins continues. Steph, family members tell us tonight they are mourning the life of not one, but two family members, a young woman and her father who was trying to protect his daughter during a violent breakup. He told her like, you know, the only way you're going to leave me is in a body bag. And that's what he did. Now we got to prepare a funeral. It's a situation Frank Gotti is struggling to accept. He's known to many in Memphis as a community activist who has dedicated his life to making Memphis safer. Except this time, his relatives are the victims. It's been rough, you know, it's been rough because this stuff, you, you know, you see, uh, see happening in other families or on, you know, in movies and things like that. You know, you never wake up and think that this would be happening at your doorstep. Quite literally, this video shows the moments 28-year-old Jalen McCollins is seen arguing with 22-year-old Anthony Stewart outside a home on Newfound Gap Road early Monday morning. Moments later, deputies say McCollins pulled a gun and shot Stewart. Family says the argument started when Stewart tried to break up with McCollins, who she had been dating for three years. It's just senseless to where he he's not wasn't in control of his emotions properly for a young man. Sonia Witherspoon says her niece was a sweet, loving young lady, and her brother-in-law, 66-year-old Gary Newman, was also shot while trying to protect her. Very, very kind man, family man, um, as much as to allow Jalen into his home to be able to uh, commit this horrendous act. The family says they loved McCollins as if he were blood, which makes coming to terms with these allegations even more heartbreaking. Stewart's mother didn't want to go on camera, but she has this message for McCollins. I would love for you, son. I still call you son. I would love for you to turn yourself in. Do it for me. You claimed you love me. Love me enough to turn yourself in. Just a heartbreaking situation. Now, deputies say McCollins is armed and dangerous, and this is not his first run in with the law. If you have any information on his whereabouts, contact law enforcement immediately. For your news leader, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.